Hi, Chris Cannon here, and I just want to share a brief message, uh, maybe two, three minutes or less, that's it. But I want to talk to you briefly about why nice people are bad. Now, I want you to hear me out. Now, I'm not saying that people that are nice are necessarily bad people, but sometimes people that are nice are bad for you. And here's what I mean by that. In any area of your life where you want to grow, whether it be business, whether it's personal, whether it's family, whether it's on your job, anywhere that you want to grow, nice people are sometimes the worst people that you can be around. And here's what I mean by that. Sometimes nice people just let you off the hook. You know, if, if you say one thing, they agree with you, even if they know and you both know that it's wrong and they won't call you out on things that you need to be called out on. And I'll give you a prime example. Another prime example. You know, when I was younger and I was an athlete, none of, I will say this. I had two coaches that were like father figures and they were never nice. They were always necessary. And that's the difference. You don't need people to be nice. You need people to be necessary. Meaning that if they are somebody that you can enroll and get on your team to help you grow or mentor you or hold you accountable, you don't need somebody who's nice. You need somebody that's necessary because there are certain things that we want to accomplish in life and there are certain things that's necessary in order for us to accomplish those things that we say we want. And sometimes nice does not fit into the equation. Now, I'm not saying that somebody needs to damage you in the process of your growth to get to wherever you're trying to be, but I'm saying that sometimes you need what's necessary and not what's nice. And sometimes nice people let you get away with things that will hinder you long term. And sometimes we want to feel good about ourselves and we want to feel good about what we're doing. And so sometimes we're working on something that can help us grow, but we start to get challenged and we don't want to reach to that next level. We default to what's comfortable. And so what do we do? We gravitate to the niceness. We call those people that are nice, it's gonna make us feel good, but they will not challenge us to do what's needed because they're not necessary. They're just nice. They're not doing what's needed, they're doing what's nice. And so I wanna encourage you that when it comes to uh, an area of your life, whether it's, it's business, whether it's sports, whether it's personal, any kind of area where you know you really wanna grow, not feel good, but grow, enroll people in your life that are needed, that are necessary, not necessarily nice. Because when you think about long term and what really matters in the end, nice just won't cut it. When you think about, you know, what's going to make you feel great, you know, even a month from now, a year from now, five years from now, it's not about what's, what makes you feel good now. It's not about being nice. It's about what results can I get and what's needed and necessary for me to get these results and what people can I enroll in my life to help me get to that next level. So this is where nice people are sometimes bad and, and enrolling people in your life that provide what's needed and what's necessary is more effective and more efficient i have a mentor and one of my mentors you know people think that he's very rude you know he's <laughs> very insensitive but he's direct and he gets the job done and he 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 does what's necessary and he understands what's needed in order for you to grow and that's what he focuses on he doesn't get caught up into the emotions of what happened in your life and make you feel good or you know justifying different things that happen and some things are legit but sometimes when there's a door when there's an escape we take it whenever it's uncomfortable but sometimes when we stay in this place that's uncomfortable, it's a little bit hot and, and somebody has challenged us in an area that's going to cause us to grow. If we just stay there, if we just stay there, we will grow and get to a level that maybe we've never, ever risen to before. And, it, and we might even surprise ourselves of how much we can actually do, because so often when things get comfortable, we just leave no matter what the situation is. Things that are uncomfortable or unknown to us, we don't like to be in those situations. And so sometimes we don't grow as much as we can. And I'll tell you this from, from personal experience, sometimes when you stay in places and areas that are uncomfortable, now I'm not talking about relationships, if you will, that are dysfunctional. I'm talking about areas of growth. When you stay in areas of growth that are uncomfortable, if you stay there long enough, you might surprise yourself by doing something that you didn't even think was possible that you were even capable of. But so often we don't allow ourselves to mature in those areas long enough because we abandon it because it's uncomfortable. And so I want to leave you with this. Enroll people in your life when it comes to your growth, your development, things that you want to do to get to the next level. Enroll people in your life that's not necessarily nice, but they're necessary and they focus on what's needed and not what just makes you feel good. Because nice people can sometimes be bad 
for your results as well as your long-term objective and goals and things that you want to accomplish in your life. So I want to encourage you to make sure that you hold yourself to the highest standard and make sure you're surrounding yourself with others that will also hold you to the highest standard as well because that will ensure that you get the most out of your life so that you never live a life filled with regret. This has been Chris Cannon, your encouragement coach, reminding you that the battle is not lost unless you accept defeat. <laughs>